Uh, open ice hits with Scotty Two Hockey coming at you with some Dollarama surprise packs. A bit different for this channel. I've never done this on this channel, but I have opened a ton of these. If my voice sounds a little bit different, it's because I'm just getting over the flu. So sorry about that if my voice sounds a bit raspy. But some of the things you can get in these, it's not it's not all junk. You're going to get some good supplies. Usually you get 100 card sleeves, 25 uh, hinge card holder, um, a little mini one-touch, like what that Eric Lindros is in back there. That's one of the Dollarama ones. They're, they're called a mini snap case, but it's pretty much a one-touch. You just pop it in there. It just doesn't have the magnet on it. A cheaper version of it, I guess. But you can get uh, you can get some old packs from the 6th. Look, that says the 6th. He's on it right there. You can get relics. I've got relics myself before. I've got a Pinnacle Auto. Um, it's the green pack right there. It's the Auto uh, Relic uh, Edition one. You can get rookie packs. Those are the rookie packs. And then there's some other, like, not the best packs, like six hockey trading cards, cards from the uh, 90s. But you can get the 60s and 70s. And you can get, like, OPG, like, old repacks and stuff. You can get actual packs of cards in this. And sometimes it's score, which isn't the best. So let's go for one. We'll dive into two right now. I bought a few today. I'll probably do another video if, this, if people like this one. So let's dive into this one right now. And I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. I'm using natural lighting here in my kitchen. I hope you guys like my uh, background with the microwave. <laughs> the, oh, we got a rookie pack, though. We have a rookie pack. A Canadian team franchise pack. So it's going to be four cards from all of the same team. It's usually like Montreal. It's a Canadian team. Montreal, Vancouver, Ottawa, Toronto, those type teams. Winnipeg. Can't forget any now. Uh, Edmonton, Calgary. And six official trading cards. And we got another one of those one-touch things. The one that the Eric's... I, I, also, I got that out of a Dollarama surprise pack before, too. Graded, they're worth like $40 on eBay, but uh, I don't know how much they are worth ungraded. But, yeah. At least that's what people are trying to sell them for on eBay. I'm not saying that's what they sold for. Now, they probably only sell like $20, but still, it's an Eric Lindros car, franchise superstar. Eric Lindros was the man in his day. Oh, another rookie pack. Nice. Let's pray for a young gun. And we got uh, 2010 The Current. That's usually not the best. We got six official trading cards and four top loaders. So, not bad. So, we'll go... We'll save the rookie packs for last. And we'll go... Yeah, save the rookie packs for last. 2010 to the current. Six official trading cards. Let's see what we got. I had to use a knife for this, guys, because these... The way they pack these, man, these are so hard to open. I also use these little plastic inserts. I tear the top off. I use them to put my base in. Like I put my base in like packs so my base don't get all beat up. So because I sell my base when it uh, builds up after a while, I know a person who buys it. Austin Matthews SB Authentic Base. It's actually a pretty nice card. Even though it's a base card, it's, it's Austin Matthews. Corey Perry and Trevor Lewis. Love that year of Upper Deck Series. Man, that's some nice looking year. What one is it? Series two, 2013, 2014. Beautiful base that year. That's one of my. That's one of the better series. Uh, that's one of the better base looking set they have out of the upper deck series. Better than this year, that's for sure. Pretty cool looking card there. Johnny Goodrow base. You're gonna get some old cards in this too. Some Bowman and stuff. See Bowman, John Tornelli. You're gonna get some of these too in the game cards. Cassie Campbell. She was one of the better uh, women's players for Team Canada back in the day. She's a commentator now. Great player in her day. Eric Carlson, Ken Danico, old school Parkhurst. What year is this? 1992 Parkhurst. And a Pavel Zaka, Canada's best in the game. I don't even believe he's Canadian, but yeah, Canada's best, whatever. And right now we have six official trading cards. I might as well do this in front of the camera so people look, think I'm putting cards in there to make it look like I'm hitting something. We have Patrick Kane. That's the blue set. That's the box set of MVP. Another Bowman card. Rick Wamsley. Great haircut on that guy. That's a hockey cut right there. Kind of looks like an, a guy who would be an NHL coach these days. Maybe he is for all I know. Um, Braden Holpe, under 18. I actually, I know it's in the game, but for my personal collection, I'm a big fan of Braden Holpe. I got his game jersey card. That's awesome. So, for $2 a pack, like you're, for, for kids, these are awesome. And for people who like collecting old base cards and stuff, for $2 a pack, you're getting supplies with it too. You can't go wrong. Michael Petit. Chris Thierry. And Mikel Budger. 
Now, we got the Canada Franchise Pack. I'm kind of excited to get into the rookie packs because you can hit lower tier young guns. And I, 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 I hit a, I forget who the player was, but I hit a young guns from the 90s. It was like an old school upper deck series card, and it was a young gun. My buddy Shane actually has a Timu Solani one. It's worth a lot of money. We have Gary Valk. No, Pro Set. Gross. Doug Lidster. Pro Set is like next to score. Even, uh, score is even better than Pro Set, man. Stadium Club, top Stadium Club and Pro Set are the worst of the old cards. Um, Dan Quinn. And what is this? Vancouver Canucks Marcus Naslin. What is this? Upper Deck. I don't know what. Is that a, it's not Upper Deck Series. Come, It came off the base set of some um, Upper Deck. Really nice looking, though. It focus, be nice, Marcus Nazel. That's a really nice looking base card. Now, now we should be into the decent stuff. For for two dollars a pack, you can't go wrong. If I hit a young gun right now, I'd be pumped. If I hit a marquee rookie, I'd be happy. Uh, you can even get Parkhurst rookies and stuff. Some of them are garbage, like old school, mass produced um, upper decks, but from the nineties, like nineties rookies. But let's see what we got in here. Oh, it's a star. Not bad. Not bad. The star rookies on the back. I'm not going to show it yet. Ron O'Reilly, SP Authentic. Some pretty cool SP Authentic base. If you like collecting SP Authentic base, like, they load this stuff up with SP Authentic. I've got packs where you get, like, six SP Authentic base cards. Um, Steve Casper. I got a Colton Pareko star, uh, star rookies yesterday. And today I got, and that's a Kevin Brown OHL card there. Today I got a, a Jake Vertanen. Star rookies, not bad. Worth a dollar or two for sure. And uh, I also have Jake Vertanen's Jumbo Young Gun and his regular Young Gun. So I might as well start building up a Jake Vertanen collection at this rate. And the last, but hopefully not least, pack. Now I'm going to start from the front because the, the uh, rookie is usually on the back when it comes to these. I think it might be another star rookie. Uh, we have Patrick Maroon. I'm pretty sure it is another star rookie. First edition, Keith Kachuk. Never seen one of those. First edition, pretty cool looking card. Another OHL card, and our rookie should be, oh, go this way. Our rookie is, it's another star rookie. Ooh, Jack Eichel, baby. $2 for a star rookies of Jack Eichel. Nice, really nice. Like, maybe only worth a dollar or two, but it's still a Jack Eichel rookie card. Can't go wrong. $2 a pack, man, you can't go wrong. These dollar round packs, I like them. I like them a lot. I'm not going to lie. I'm after getting um, some really nice old school OPG packs of this where I got stuff. I got a Relic before. I got a Pinnacle Auto. I got a Joe Thornton Pinnacle Rookie. I've got some great 60s and 70s and 80s cards. Cards that are old as the hills base cards for my binder. And and lots of supplies. Like all these. All these one touches here came out of old uh, Dollarama bags. Like all those ones there. You can get these mini ones. They're called mini snap cases. That's a Mark, uh, Mark Shifley exclusive inside of it. But I never got that out of a dollar on the bag. It's a snap case I did, though. And um, you can get these big snap cases. You can get 100 sleeves. And like I say, you can get the, uh, where are they too? I got them here somewhere. They're off to the side here somewhere anyways. But you can get the, you can get four top loaders. So for $2, you're going to get a good rookie, bunch of old 90s, 80s base, uh, possible other rookies in, in, in with it. And... You can't go wrong for $2. Like, my two best hits out of this for sure. Along with that Brayden Holpe card, first edition card that I got. Uh, there it is. Jake Fertanen. Star Rookies of Jack Eichel and Star Rookies of Jake Fertanen. So I paid $4 for two of the bags. I got four top loaders. A nice little, uh, what do you call it? Regular snap holder. And I got two Star Rookies and some nice old base. So... $4, you can't go wrong, and I got to have a fun break out of it. So if you guys like cheaper cards, if you guys like trying to get a little hit out of a cheaper deal, Dollarama is the place to go. They have some great deals on these uh, surprise bags. So be for, sh for sure, check them out. And if you can, do me a favor, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, become uh, part of the scotty 2 hockey family, join in on breaks, Habs talk, NHL talk, anything hockey-related, it's here on this channel. I hope you have a great day, folks. Open ice hits with Scotty Duhaki. Over and out. Jack Eichel, star rookie, baby. Woo!